Welcome back. So what's for dinner? If you're faced with that daily dilemma, we have some help for you today. Best-selling author Pam Anderson has been cooking nearly every day for over 30 years, and she's published seven books, including her latest, Cook Without a Book. And she joins us now live with a taste of what's hot when it comes to healthier contemporary cuisine in today's Your Health. Hi, Pam. Thank you for being with us today. Hey, Christy. It's so great to be with you. Tell us a little bit about this approach. I think so many of us are interested in modernizing our meals and getting a fresh approach to that family question that I know we face in our house every night. What's for dinner? Yes. I mean, the deal is you want to eat pleasurably, but you also want to eat healthfully. And I made the decision a couple of years to cut back a bit on my meat consumption. I'm not vegetarian. Just cut back and eat less meat so I can afford better meat. And, but I found myself, when you take a meat out of the equation, you know, I floundered a little bit. It's like it's a big thing to replace. So what I did was go back a dozen years or so when I wrote my first book called How to Cook Without a Book. And that is teaching people that just to is simply internalize some basic techniques and formulas so you're not so recipe dependent for weeknight cooking. You know, and also the other piece is to make sure that you've got a decently stocked pantry, refrigerator, and freezer so that you're not constantly running back to the grocery store. Now, a lot of this approach is focusing on some key ingredients or some key components that you can incorporate into your meal planning. What are your suggestions for that? Oh, you know, the great thing is that whether you're eating meatless or, or eating meat on a given day, the, the pantry items are about the same. Olive oil, vinegar, rice, pasta, tomatoes, canned beans. Those sorts of things will help you get through, for, through the week. Um, one of the other things I really like a lot is um, the refrigerated pie doughs because I've got two formulas in the book. One is a roasted vegetable galette, and the other is a vegetable pot pie. And you simply take roasted vegetables. That happens while you're, while you're prepping everything. Just roast some vegetables, seasonal, whatever you have. Mix it with some light cream cheese and some grated uh, cheese, whatever you, have, you happen to have around because this is a formula after all. It's not a recipe. Spread this onto your pie, your pie crust, and then simply fold it up. That's all you have to do. Um, the other thing that I'm working on that I want to share with you, because I believe that, you know, cooking from scratch is really great, but, you know, the fact is we have to feed ourselves and our families over a thousand times a year. And so a lot of times there really isn't that time um, to prepare from scratch, in which case I keep a lot of frozen prepared meals in my freezer so that I can eat pleasurably and healthfully uh, during the week. And in fact, uh, Lean Cuisine has assembled a group of top chefs across the country um, and they're infusing new flavors, new life, and giving the Lean Cuisine entrees a complete makeover. So that's a pretty exciting thing to be working on in addition to my book, Perfect, uh, the meat, uh, Cook Without a Book, Meatless Meals. And uh, this book, we have a, a copy here, is uh, available now for folks to get their hands on? It is such a good question. If they head over to 3manycooks.com, that's the website blog I have with my two young adult daughters, they can find information there. And if they're in for interested in finding out any more about the rollout of the Lean Cuisine entrees, um, they should just go to Facebook and type in Lean Cuisine. Great. Well, some great tips, and thank you so much for sharing those with us today, Pam. Christy, thanks for giving me some time. Glad to have you.